For this look, I'm using Krivalin Face and Body Makeup, which is water activated. You can find a list of all of the products I used, as well as where you can purchase them down below in the info box. The first step is going to be to dampen a sponge and apply your metallic white. And make sure the sponge is pretty dry because you want to get a soft, cloudy effect, and that look is achieved by using a drier sponge. Apply this color around your eyes and your temples, fading outwards towards your skin. And as you can see, I use the back of my sponge for more control and to get a more rounded edge on the background. Next, take metallic pink and apply it to the same sponge. Blot on your hand to make sure the color is not too strong and apply this color to your temples. Make sure the color is concentrated in the middle of your temple and then lighten the pressure of the sponge to fade it out nicely into that white. Finally, apply some of that metallic pink to the very center of your design. Next, I'm using the Xmas um, Rainbow Cake, and as you can see, it's messy. So how you can clean these is simply swiping them with a baby wipe in a downward motion, making sure not to mix the colors. Load up a 3 quarter inch square brush with white, pink, and red. Try to not to let the colors mix too much when you do this. And you can see how that creates a nice blend. Using a flat brush along with split cakes can help you create fast and easy hearts with a nice color gradient. Simply put the darker color on the outside edge, press down, and then pull up on your bristles. And fill in the center. So press down, pull up onto the edge, press down, pull up onto the edge, and then fill in your center. Next, I'm using red paint. And as you can see, I just put a couple drops on there. And to activate the paint correctly, continue to work your brush into it until it has a nice creamy consistency. And as soon as it does, give your brush a twist for a nice point and it's ready to go. For fast and easy hearts, simply do two teardrops that meet at the end. So press your brush, pull up, press and pull up. Use the same technique to make white hearts and pink hearts. To help give the hearts more definition, you can take the colors that were on the outside of your square brushes, so where there was pink, use pink, and where there's red, like here, use red to give your hearts a quick outline. This can be skipped if you have a long line of people. Add a few highlights with white paint and a thin brush. This is a number three Marguerite brush. Remember to follow the curving edges of your hearts along their outside edge. And to give it a more three dimensional look, you can add a highlight on the other side of the heart as well. And of course, the design wouldn't be complete with some starbursts here and there to make it look more sparkly. For my eyeshadow, I used the metallic pink as a base and faded it out with my finger. And then on top of that, I used a slightly shimmery bright pink by Ben Nye. And then I faded it up into my crease. Using a pointed crease brush, 
I took a little bit of red and put that in my outer corners. And then to highlight my inner corners, I took a shimmery white eyeshadow and applied that to the very inner corners. Last but not least, some sparkly pink lip gloss to finish the look. And there you have it, a pretty and delicate design. But if you decide you'd like a darker look, you can simply add some black and give a more edgy and gothic feel to your design. The first step to this transformation is to outline all of your hearts in black using a thin brush. This is the Mark Reed number three. And make sure that your outlines aren't all the same width. You want parts of them thin and parts of them thick. In some of the hearts, you can add a crack going down the middle to give a broken heart effect. Make sure to fill in your crack with black. Continue outlining all around your design. To darken up the eyes, simply take a pointed crease brush and smudge some black eyeshadow into your crease. And using a small shading brush and black eyeshadow, add shadows below the hearts and pull black down into streaks. Do the same under your eyes, smudge the black and pull the shadow down into streaks to give the illusion that you are crying. Make sure you don't make the lines too straight so they look more natural. Finally, use some black face paint to darken your lips. Make sure the black is more concentrated on the outer corners of your lips and dab a little bit of pink eyeshadow into the very center. And you're done. You have your nice look and your darker look. I hope you liked it. <laughs>